Hello everyone, welcome to Course Creel. As you know, tea is very famous among the people of India, whether they are working professional, government employees, business persons or housewives. Tea is everyone's favorite. But do you know, you can learn some concepts of engineering as well as some concepts of physics from tea. So here, let's learn some concepts of heat transfer while preparing or while having tea. So when we prepare tea, we heat all the ingredients like milk, water, sugar, tea leaves, ginger and other things in a pan on a gas stove. So these ingredients are representing some kind of chemical. So we are mixing all the chemicals and we are providing heat energy with the help of gas stove. So with the help of gas stove, we are providing heat to the pan. So here heat is transferring in all type of mode. There are three modes of the heat transfer, conduction, convection and radiation. So here the heat is transferring from gas stove to pan, then pan to the ingredients or uh, to the liquid and another heat is transferred from steam to the environment. So here solid to solid, solid to liquid and vice versa and radiation through steam is transferring and these are representing all modes of heat transfer. So here with the help of this tea preparation you can see all modes of heat transfer here. Heat always flow from higher temperature to lower temperature and the temperature of gas stove which is providing heat energy to the pan is higher than the temperature of pan. So here heat will transfer from gas stove to pan. So here we can say heat always transfer from higher temperature to lower temperature. This is very important concept of thermodynamics. Now let's see all three modes of heat transfer with the help of some daily life example. So here first we are going to discuss about the conduction. So conduction we can define as heat transfer by the means of molecular excitement within a material without any disturbing motion. This particular term we can define in different manner. So here we can say when two solid material or two solid maintained at different temperature touch each other and heat energy directly transferred from the hotter object to the colder object at the point of contact. This represents the conduction. First mode of heat transfer that is conduction. For example, we can say the heat energy is transferring from hot stove to the bottom of the pan when we are preparing tea or when we are any uh, when we are cooking any type of food so the heat energy always transfer from the hot stove to the bottom of the pan if we are frying egg in a pan so the same example we can take the heat energy will transfer from hot stove to the pan and then pan to the egg so this is the example of conduction now let's see another mode that is convection so convection we can define as a heat transfer due to movement of fluid. So wherever we are considering any type of fluid whether it is liquid or gas and if the heat is transferred with the help of these kind of fluid that is representing the convection. So here we can say the transfer of heat between two bodies by current of moving fluid whether it is gas or liquid that represent convection. Convection always occur in liquid, gas or the mixture of liquid and gas. Example we can take as boiling water. So here boiling water is a fluid. So here the mode of heat transfer we will consider convection. Or we can say another example hot air balloon. So in hot air balloon the gas is filled inside. So that gas we are considering as a fluid. Fluid means liquid and gas both. So here for fluid we will consider, for heat transfer we will consider liquid, gas or the mixture of both liquid and gas for the convection purpose. Now let's see third type of mode of heat transfer that is called radiation. So radiation is defined as a process where heat waves are emitted, absorbed, reflected and transformed through a cooler body. 
here radiation we can define in terms of electromagnetic waves so electromagnetic waves usually emit absorbed and reflected as well as transformed through a cooler body which is representing the radiation for example we can say sun heat the earth by electromagnetic waves or in general manner if we take the example of drying clothes so the sun is emitting the electromagnetic waves on the clothes and with the help of air and the heat energy of the sun we usually dry our cloth outside so this is the example of radiation now coming back to our tea so here we have prepared our tea with the help of all three modes of heat transfer conduction convection and radiation conduction means the heat is transferred from hot stove to the bottom of the pan then from bottom of the pan the heat is transferred to the liquid so that is another mode of heat transfer solid to liquid or liquid to solid so that is also considered in convection and from each layer of liquid if the heat is transferring so that is also considered as the convection and when the heat is transferred to the environment in the form of steam so that is representing the third type of heat transfer that is the radiation so here with the help of all three modes of heat transfer we have prepared our tea now our tea is prepared and if we pour the tea in a thermal flask so now if the tea is in thermal flask and if we want to touch the flask by the bare hand so it won't feel hot why there is a reason because of the insulation the reason is insulation our thermal flask is insulated that is why we won't feel hot in our hand we don't feel any kind of temperature in our hand but when you pour the tea in cup and you touch the cup with bare hand it feel hot because there is no insulation here in the cup but when we hold the cup with the help of one cloth it act like an insulator and you don't feel any heat in your hand so here when we touch the thermal flask the flask is insulated so we don't feel any kind of heat in our hand but when we touch the cup which is filled with hot tea so that material of the cup is not insulated so we feel hot or we feel some kind of temperature in our hand it is difficult to hold with bare hand that particular cup which is filled with tea but here if we are holding the cup with the help of one cloth so cloth is also acting like an insulator so here we are protecting our hand from the heat so the insulator means if we see the basic definition of insulator it means a material used to stop passage of electricity heat or sound from one conductor to another conductor so this is a general insulator but if we talk about the insulator in terms of heat that is called the thermal insulator or the process is called thermal insulation process so thermal insulation is defined as the reduction of heat transfer between bodies which are in thermal contact or in the range of radioactive influence so this is the basic concept of thermal insulation so hopefully this information is beneficial for you so while preparing tea and while having tea we can learn so many concepts which is related to heat transfer thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you get some concepts which is related to engineering and physics with the help of daily life example i will try to prepare more video on the basis of some daily life example to enhance the knowledge about physics chemistry and engineering so thank you so much see you in next video i will upload more video which is informative and which is beneficial for the purpose of education and for motivation you can like the video you can share the video with your friends and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel